Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how I make one of the fairies from one of my flower fairy kits. If you're new to making fairies, welcome. I have tons of tutorials on my YouTube channel that help you learn how to make fairies. If you have your own supplies, I hope you find this tutorial helpful. And if you decide to purchase one of my kits, I hope this gives you some fun tips and tricks on how to put your flower fairy together. If you enjoy this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps me out so much. And with that said, let's get started. So there are two different ways you can purchase my flower fairy kits. You can either get the kit with the single flowers, which is what this is. It comes with this gorgeous purple aster. Or my favorite is to get the kit that comes with all three flowers. It gives you so many different options. You can mix up the glitter and the threads, and it's my favorite way. Um, these are listed in my Etsy shop. Um, so here are the supplies we'll be using from the Purple Aster Kit. So you'll either get two flowers that each have three layers of petals, or in the kit, you'll get three flowers that each have two layers of petals. Uh, what I'm going for here is you want six layers of the petals total to make the prettiest skirt. Then you get this beautiful purple thread. I have a custom glitter blend that has all sorts of different glitters I've handpicked. And then you get this beautiful purple crystal. I know it looks almost black. Uh, the video doesn't do it justice. It's a beautiful deep purple that matches the flower perfectly. And then you get your basic flower fairy supplies. So a wooden bead, some floral wire, some embroidery floss for the skin, and you get to pick the skin tone. Um, some embroidery floss for the hair, you also get to pick that. And then of course our thread to dress our doll. Now. You can see I've already twisted my doll here. I've already made her. You get all of the supplies in the kit to make her and then you also get instructions. So all you have to do is hold your smartphone over the QR code. It will pull up a list on my YouTube channel of tons and tons of tutorials, hairstyles, the basics, how to form your doll, all of those things. The other basic supplies you'll need are some Mod Podge or any craft glue and a paintbrush. You'll need some E6000 glue and a toothpick to apply the crystal and then a sharp pair of scissors, and of course, my favorite glue gun set on low. I always use a low temperature glue gun. You're less likely to burn yourself and it's just easier to work with the glue. Okay, let's get started. So like I said, I've already twisted my fairy doll. The fun thing about this kit is it's super customizable. You can pick the skin tone and there are three different skin tones and the hair color, and there are four different hair colors to pick from. And um, so you can see I've got the blonde with the light skin tone, and then I'm going to dress my doll in that beautiful purple thread. So you can see her, I've just wrapped, I've started right around her waist and wrapped up underneath her arms and given her a pair of shorts. Um, if you do get the kit that comes with all three flowers, another fun option would be to use the lighter purple that comes in that kit. Then I'm going to set her aside and I'm going to pull apart my flowers. Now um, in that uh, playlist that you get that has the basic fairy making, I go through how to create, twist the body together, how to wrap the body, how to create, do the hair, like all of the steps are broken down, including how to create the skirt. So I've pulled apart these two flowers or actually I'm using the three flowers that have two petals each. So you can see I've got six layers here and I'm just going to layer those together. And you see that I'm not laying the petals right on top of each other. We want to alternate the petals so they, uh, they overlap nicely, giving us a really pretty full skirt. And I love how these petals flip up. It's whimsical and fun and it's so cute for a fairy skirt. Then I fold it in half, hold it up to my fairy to make sure I like how it looks. And if I do, I'm going to grab each petal and I'm going to cut an X in the center of each petal. This is going to allow us to slide the petals up and around our fairy's waist to create the skirt. And then I'm going to grab my fairy and I'm going to slide those petals up and around her waist. Once again, um, I try to pay attention to how they're overlapping when I'm sliding them up around her waist. Next, I'm gonna grab my glue gun and this is where it's really important to make sure that those are overlapping nicely. So I use tiny dabs of glue and I'm just going to start to hook her skirt together using little dabs of glue. You can see I'm alternating those petals so they're nice and full. And I do that in the front and in the back and on the sides until her uh, skirt is secure. 
And this is what we've got so far. You can see this cute frilly skirt. I love how the petals flip up. The next thing we're going to do is give her a pair of shoes. So I grabbed that same purple we used to dress our doll and I'm giving her a pair of shoes. You could also give her some gloves. I have a gloves and shoes tutorial that will be linked below. In fact, all of the tutorials I'm referencing will be linked below. Then I'm going to style her hair. Now I decided to give her a rope braid I do have a tutorial for this. Yes, it'll be linked below. I love how this worked with this skirt. I think it's so pretty. And I am getting total Rapunzel vibes from her hair and the color of this dress. I do have two different Rapunzel flower fairy tutorials. I will list those below also. They're some of my very favorites. So now that we have her hair done, I'm going to grab my Mod Podge or any craft glue. I've got my paintbrush and then I've got my glitter for my glitter packet. So this is my custom glitter blend. I have hand selected every single type of glitter that comes in this mix. It has tons of different textures, different shapes of glitter. So it really reflects the light beautifully. So I'm just taking my paintbrush and I am applying a thin layer right around her waist. And then I go back and add a little bit more glue and a little bit more glitter for anywhere that I missed. And this is what we have so far. And I love this sparkly glitter. It's so pretty and it matches the beautiful purple in the skirt so well. The last thing we have to do is to apply our crystal. Now you can use this crystal that comes in the kit in any way. You can put it on her hair, you can put it on her dress somewhere. I'm going to put it at the very top of her dress. So it comes in this cute little packet. I have a little bit of my E6000 glue. You could also use craft glue for this part. I just really like how um, strong the E6000 glue is. It really holds that crystal down. I use the toothpick to make sure it's in the right spot. And that's it guys, we're all set. You could also go back and add some of that beautiful glitter to the tips of her skirt in my basics uh, playlist. I do go into more detail on how you can apply glitter to the tips of the petals for her skirt. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments. I would also love to know which flower from this kit you'd like me to do a tutorial for next. So I have the white daisy or I have that gorgeous yellow peony. It's so beautiful. So let me know what you guys think. I am really excited about this kit. It was really fun to put together. I have loved your feedback about my fairy kits. If you have your own supplies, I hope you found this helpful. And if you're interested in purchasing a fairy kit, there is a link to my Etsy shop below. Thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It really does help me out a lot. And with that said, we'll see you next time.